Some characters you love to hate, others you just hate. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie douchebags who had it coming. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at reprehensible film characters who got exactly what was coming to them. To be clear, we're specifically looking at characters who died, so Biff Tannen's many manure-related mishaps will not be considered. Bernard! I hate Bernard! In other words, nobody shed a tear when these jerkwads bit the bullet. Also, obviously, a spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10, Dennis Nedry, Jurassic Park. And no wonder you're extinct. John Hammond simply wanted to build a theme park where humans could get to see real-life dinosaurs. But somebody just had to rain on his dino parade. This disgruntled computer programmer made a secret deal with rival company Biosyn to steal dinosaur embryos, claiming he was overworked and underpaid by Hammond. Nedry's actions directly caused the dinosaurs to break out and wreak havoc, including the Dilophosaurus he ran into while trying to make his escape with the stolen embryos. So, given that it was all his fault, we weren't sad in the slightest when he got a face full of blinding venom before being mauled by the diminutive dino. Was his fate scientifically accurate? No. But it was certainly satisfying. <laughs> Number 9. Cypher, The Matrix No. I don't believe it. <laughs> Being a member of the human resistance against the machines is no walk in the park. You spend most of your life living in underground complexes or cramped hover ships, and the less said about the food, the better. But despite this, the brutal betrayal of the crew of the Nebuchadnezzar just can't be forgiven. After making a deal with the machines, this underhanded crew member killed several of his shipmates in cold blood and helped the agents capture Morpheus. He wound up getting blasted with a lightning laser for his trouble, and it frankly couldn't have happened to a worse guy. No more steak for you, pal. Believe it or not, you piece of shit, you're still gonna burn. <laughs> Number eight, Margaret White, Carrie. My father, what How did I name? I can go down. I will be Poor Carrie White. As if she didn't have enough to deal with at school where she endured constant bullying. Unfortunately, her home life was similarly terrible. Our titular character was born to an intensely religious woman who constantly berated and emotionally abused her daughter. When Carrie's telekinetic powers began to emerge, her mother even accused her of being a witch and attempted to murder her. By this point, Carrie had fully embraced her powers and went on a rampage, wreaking bloody vengeance against those who had wronged her. This naturally included Mommy Dearest, whom Carrie dispatched with an arsenal of kitchen utensils upon returning home from her prom night rampage. Number seven, Bill, Kill Bill. You and I have unfinished business. Let's face it, you don't dedicate two films to killing one guy unless he's a real piece of work. The devious leader of a hit squad known as the Deadly Viper Assassination Squad, Bill had enemies all over the place, not the least of which was his former lover Beatrix. Beatrix became a master killer under his tutelage, and later became pregnant with his child, an event that prompted her to leave her life of violence behind, until Bill returned to shatter her peaceful life in an orgy of violence. Years later, the bride returned and eventually killed him using the five-point palm exploding heart technique. Honestly, it was a kinder fate than Bill deserved. <laughs> Number six. Captain Henry Rhodes, Day of the Dead. A zombie apocalypse is a stressful event under the best of circumstances. But if you've got a boorish military man yelling in your face, it's literally hell on earth. The staff of an underground government base learned this the hard way when their former base commander died, leaving this nasty customer in charge. Berating the staff and threatening to shut down their research, zombie apocalypse and all, Rhodes was the worst thing happening to our assorted cast of characters. He met his much-deserved end when, as things have been known to do in situations like these, the poop hit the fan and the base became overrun with zombies, who nabbed him and tore him apart while he was still alive. <laughs> Number 5. Harry Ellis, Die Hard Tired of sitting here 
waiting to see who gets us killed first. There's just something about 80s douchebags that feels so much more obnoxious than your run-of-the-mill jerk hole. And you'd be hard-pressed to find a better example of 80s sleaze than Harry Ellis. A cork-snoting, womanizing, schmoozing jerk, this Nakatomi Corporation employee might as well have had a big kill me sign hanging around his neck. When thieves posing as terrorists attack the plaza, he actually attempted to make a deal with them in typically sleazy fashion. Hans, Bobby, I'm your white knight. In doing so, he even revealed John McClane's identity to the thieves, which put John's wife Holly at risk. The baddies recognized him as an obvious weasel and shot him dead. <laughs> Number four, Benny Gabor, the mummy. A dyed-in-the-wool coward willing to sell anyone out to save his own sorry hide, this character had weasel written all over him. A former ally of hero Rick O'Connell, Benji joined forces with the resurrected Imhotep, an ancient Egyptian who'd been cursed and returned as a powerful mummy with vast magical abilities. Throwing his lot in with Imhotep to save himself, Benny basically became the former's lackey, helping him gain further power and execute his evil machinations. Benji wound up getting one of the nastiest deaths on our list, as his dirty deeds led him to be trapped in a collapsing tomb and devoured by scarabs. And that is why you don't mess with mummies. Goodbye, Benny. Number three, Commodus, Gladiator. Smile for me now, brother. The scheming son of the former emperor Marcus Aurelius, Commodus is the one and only entry on our list to be based on a real person. The real-life version co-ruled with his father from 177 to 180 BC and ruled by himself until 192 BC. After going solo, his megalomania grew to new heights. And just like in the movies, Commodus led a life of wanton cruelty and hedonism. The movie version attempted to kill the gladiator Maximus in a rigged battle, only to get himself killed by Maximus instead. The real-life version went down with even less dignity, having been strangled by an assassin while in the baths. Number two, Mrs. Carmody, The Mist. He points the finger, this Judas in our midst. Another religious wackadoo from a movie based on a Stephen King novel, this old crow probably would have gotten along great with Margaret White. Maybe they could have had tea together to talk about new and interesting ways to just be all around awful. One of several townsfolk trapped in a grocery store when a mysterious monster containing mist appeared, she came to believe that this was Judgment Day and gathered a cult-like following of other survivors. After sabotaging a group attempting to go for help and nearly sacrificing two other people to the monsters, she was shot dead by the normally mild-mannered Ollie. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. Number one, Carter Burke, Aliens. Burke! So, you've discovered an insanely dangerous alien species that's almost impossible to control or contain and is also endlessly adaptable. What do you do? Try and weaponize it, of course. An agent of the sinister Wayland yutani Corporation, this character was one of several scumbags determined to bring a xenomorph back to his bosses. In order to do this, he threw everyone he could under a bus, and even tried to use Ellen Ripley and a child named Newt as unwilling hosts for Xenomorphs that would then be transported back to Earth. But what goes around comes around, and he was eventually killed by the same monsters he tried to control. Imagine that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.